Is there any way that, that, uh, that you wouldn't see if you had some type of tax that, that's being proposed here? Do, does real estate go down in your view? In, in well, I case? think it would be a disaster, not just for real estate. I think it would be a disaster for the economy in New York between construction jobs and other industries that will suffer uh, from people not buying in New York. I remember when during the financial crisis and bonuses went down, restaurants suffered yep. because people were, were not ordering two and three hundred dollar a bottle of wine. They were they were ordering, I don't know, something else. I mean, it, it, you, do politicians not think about the, the unintended consequences at, at times of this? Well, I, I would say they should have learned a lesson with the Amazon disaster. I, I mentioned that to him. And, this, and this, uh, this will be multiples worse than Amazon. You think uh, than multiples Amazon. worse? Multiples worse. Multiples and, worse. And how far down the line will it, uh, will it trickle down, if you will? Meaning, it, the properties that are above $5 million dollars, in terms of trickling down to, to properties that are in the you know, million dollar range or less. We should tell people what we're talking about. So we're talking about the Pieta Terra tax, uh, which would tax. Proposed, which, proposed, which, proposed. Proposed Pieta Terra tax, which the governor has supported, the state assembly and senate have supported. If you own a second home in New York City that's five million or more, you will pay a tax between a half a percent and four percent. So just for viewers who may not know that. But compared to the normal tax, the way it's being talked about, it will be an annual tax. It right. won't be a one-time right. tax yes. like, like most of you. Tax, not like a mansion or tax. Or tax or and that is the part that would be disastrous. So is the real estate industry fighting this, and do you think it's going to happen? I don't think it's going to happen the way it's laid out now. I think uh, the governor is a smart man, and I think they're going to come to the senses as to what it would do to the economy of uh, New York, New York City especially. So I think there will be something. I don't think it'll be as severe, and I don't think it'll be a, a, an annual payment. So what do you think How, the something looks like, though? I think something looks like an increase, you know, mansion tax. So it's just no, on the, the, high on the time of sale. Maybe one time. How bad is the real estate market in New York now? It's not so and bad. Look, last year, according to the Wealth Report, it was down 2.5%. Right. You know, this is after years. What about your business in New York? We, we, we were down, I look at commissions, so we were down maybe uh, 12%. So part of that's velocity, less sales, and part of it's pricing. But on the other hand, we were up 32% in South Florida. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you is people have been preparing. People have been leaving anyway uh, before salt. And then as soon as the salt was talked about, I think it's sped up. And I think it'll continue. And if any tax like is being talked about, is talked in, passed in that fashion, where it's annual, there'll really be an exodus from New York City. We when we talk about it and you know they they pull at your your hearts they were talking about fixing the subways uh, so we need the money to fix the subways but then they said what if enough people leave like take illinois for example or, or you make it really hard on millionaires or hedge funds or whatever then they all exit then you watch you can just watch revenue go down even though so it, it, do they not ever connect the dots or is it I, is, is, are they well intentioned is it punitive do they not know you could end up with less revenue for the subways than before you put these this piece of well tax on? You, you know it surely is punitive and the fact it's is, punitive so yeah. it's not they don't really think they're going to bring in more revenue they may convince themselves, well, but it's but it's just not going to happen. Andrew, real, don't you think you'd lose more people? You're going to lose jobs. I yeah. just think about construction jobs. If you're going to do a tax like this, really, why should it all go to MTH? You, you go didn't for have affordable affordable you housing. You didn't have your Amazon mo mojo so my question, yesterday. My he question did. for he Howard, did. though, as a, as a New Yorker, is what do we do? Do we have a revenue problem in this city? Meaning, is there not enough revenue to support? what we are otherwise doing, what we need in terms of infrastructure, what we need in terms of subways. You mean with the $30 billion you're not getting now from the last screw-up of the politicians? There's, a, the, there's been problems all over the place. The question is, are we getting the right allocation from Albany? That's part of the issue. But are we creating, an, are we creating enough revenue in the city? If we wanted to create more revenue in the city, how do you do it? Um, what do we need to do to make this city a livable city? The subways are a mess. I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it at all. I'm saying as somebody who has spent their, their life and livelihood and cares so much deeply about the city, if, if you could run it for a day, what would you do differently to, to, to get to the other side of the, uh, you know, to the promised land look, if there look, is one? Look, look, it's a tough job. There's no question about it. But, but the fact is you don't, you don't fix a budget by chasing people out of the right. state. And out of the city, right. you just don't. That's impossible. Start with that, you know, and then a, figure certain, out how to fix it. Right. Yeah. At a, cer at a certain fact, you can't you can't cut expenses enough. That's the problem. But I'm sure there is fat, as there is in every budget, and that has to be looked at very closely and probably first 
before you start doing crazy right. things on the revenue side. But what, what happens to New York real estate if this pied terror tax goes through um, in terms of the cascade effect? How, how far down, does it, down the ladder does it go, do you think? Well, look, I think it affects everyone. Even, even someone under $5 million who's not paying it is still going to be like, concerned. Do, the, do prices come down? Yeah, prices come down. I think they're going to come down in general. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to think, well, this is great because everything under $5 million will go up. But that doesn't happen. It right. doesn't work that what, way. Because someone that was going to buy a $25 million bomb right. is not going to say, well, I think I'll buy five $5 million apartments. Right. You know? It what, just doesn't work. What part of the market is strong now? What part of the market is weak now? And, and what do you see going forward? Look, last year, the, the best parts of the market were under $3 million, which is always pretty pretty stable and over probably 20 25 million and that's because the people in between you, you know look you buy you buy a seven eight million dollar apartment that's not a crazy price in new york city but for the rest of the country and, and the state it is it is a big number but these are these are people that still worry about their livelihood if their bankers they're worried about their bonus if their hedge fund guys are worried about their performance they're worried about how salt is going to affect you. They're worried about everything. When you're going over 20, 25 million, they're not worried about any of that. The only thing they're worried about is they still want a discount because they know the market's down. They want a fair price. They don't want to be stupid and overpay for something. But they'll buy all day.